Let's check out BMW Motorrad's completely revised 1,293cc inline four roadster, the K1300R. Recently, BMW redesigned the performance curve on their previous generation K1200R by adding an electronic control valve to the exhaust system while also bumping engine displacement. The result is a significant boost in both horsepower and torque. The engineers also tweaked the R's suspension bits, dropping the dual lever front suspension slightly and shortening the pair lever drive shaft system out back in an effort to quicken the bike's overall steering. The new K1300R also comes with a variety of optional high-tech gadgets, such as electronic suspension adjustment and traction control. Plus, the R's six-speed tranny also comes with an optional quick shifter system, which allows for clutchless gear changes. Sampling the new K1300R for us this week is a viewer who is both a huge big bore sport bike fan and a Kawasaki ZX14 owner. Meet Paul Connert. So Paul, you know the motto around motorcycle experience, there's no replacement for displacement and this one's got lots of displacement, huh? You know, there's nothing like a big inline four and uh, this one uh, certainly doesn't disappoint. Yeah, I thought you might be happy with this. Well, it completely, uh, it wasn't what I thought. This is a seriously fast accelerating machine, not just by the seat of my pants. Uh, Motorrad magazine in Germany uh, timed this thing at 2.9 seconds up to 100 kilometers and 4.3 seconds to 140 kilometers. This thing, I mean, when, when that famous guy on TV says, keep your right hand cranked, you better be paying attention <laughs> when you're riding this thing. This is one of the fastest accelerating machines on the planet, but that's not all it does. Well, it's it certainly accelerates quickly, but it's also like just smooth. I love this motor for its smoothness. Well, you know, it's, it's tough doing this show sometimes, but the more I rode it, the more I liked it. It is silky, silky smooth. And you, most people would be hard pressed to know that they're riding a shaft. It's so smooth. There's right. no lash, there's no backlash. There's no jacking from the There's shaft. Nothing. Yeah. It, it's exactly like a chain, very efficient. Yeah. How did you like the sound of that big uh, canister back there? Well, it really has a nice growl. And uh, as you can see on the side here, it has a butterfly valve which opens uh -huh. uh, to give you more mid range. So it's not as restricted. Uh, I mean, the, the can is a very nice looking can, the stainless steel and all that. But usually uh, when people buy a bike, that's the first thing to go. Well, you don't have to do this one, uh, change this one. It looks beautiful and has a fantastic growl. It really gets your blood going. Now this bike comes equipped with the new BMW shift assist. How did you find shifting? Well, it's a high performance shift assist. And I'm, I'm telling you right now, um, they're gonna be, their companies are gonna be copying this because it's so effective. Now after many years of riding, we're all used to, if you're power shifting, letting off in the gas and shifting up. You don't have to do that. You can keep your eye on the, on the tack and just shift right through while keeping your right hand cranked again. Right. And it's quite amazing. I would be very curious to try this on the track at Cayuga. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about, uh, we know it goes, what about the stops? You cannot lock these brakes up. The, uh, brake, the front brakes and the rear brakes are linked only when you're using the front brake. The, the rear brake acts independently. Right. You cannot lock this up. I tried. And uh, when it comes, it comes with a safety package and anything that uh, makes motorcycling safety is great. So you can, you come, the package comes with traction control, mm -hmm. ABS, and uh, it also uh, checks your tire pressure, right. which is, uh, you know, a good thing. So. Um, you were impressed. I was very impressed. This bike looks great and, and uh, it really looks great from uh, the rear view. Mm -hmm. it's, everything is tucked in um, as you can see. Uh, the shaft is tucked in, the pipe looks great. Yep. It's a great looking bike and again the more I look at it the more I like it. Um, the one thing I didn't like, it's a very high quality build but what takes it away from it is the heat shield on the bottom there. It looks like it's an add-on but that's a quick fix and it could be changed, but... Uh, so did anything disappoint you? <laughs> well, I, I was too busy hanging on. <laughs> <laughs> this bike is aimed at uh, an experienced, skilled rider. 
uh, people, you know, 30 to 55 years old. That's what BMW tells me. Um, but that being said, because you have to be a skilled, experienced rider to enjoy the traction control, to enjoy the, the handling. That being said, it's very easy to ride. Mm -hmm. Well, you've got a two-hour ride back to the big city. What's going to be the one lasting impression? What are you going to tell your friends when you get back there? It's an all-round package. It does not only, you know, an all-rounder bike should do everything well. This does everything in, in excellence. It's a complete package. Well, it's a complete package, and you've got a complete two hours to get back to the city. So, thanks very much, Dave. Again, it was an honor and a pleasure. Good job, Paul.